If instead of looking by eye with bright field, we want to do the same thing but with fluorescence illumination, some of the steps are the same as what we did for bright field and some will be different. The ones that are the same are the following. We need to make sure that the light goes to the eyepieces. So we're going to make sure that um, that is the setting on which the microscope uh, is engaged. We want to make sure that we are not blocking the light from reaching the eyepieces. So we're going to pull this out to that stop. We need to make sure that we are using the proper uh, filter cube. So if you look here, you'll see the different options. Filter cube two, three, four, and five are for fluorescence illumination. Uh, let's say we want to look at a, at a, a fluorophore that is uh, in the sort of Texas red range. That means we need to set it up, set up the turret to position four. So I'm gonna to go to the turret here. I'm going to rotate this until we get to position four. So the final element that we need here to be able to see things is to open up the path to the illumination from the mercury lamp. So as you can see at the back of the microscope here, inside this black box, uh, there is a mercury lamp, which is essentially a lamp that has a very high powered white light. Uh, this white light is one of the first things you turn on when you start up the system with this box. So what we need to do is to ensure that the light from that lamp can actually uh, get into the microscope because normally uh, that path is completely blocked and it's blocked by this slider down here. So if you look at my hand, you can see I, I am pulling something. Uh, this slider in the default position, which is pushed all the way in like this, this part of it right here blocks the light from reaching the inside of the microscope. If we pull it out, as I'm doing here, we get different uh, filters in position that block different percentages of the light. And you can see that in any of those positions, light makes it through to the sample. So that's the far position, this is the middle one, and then this is the one closest um, to the actual block, which will be the next one, as you can see there. So when we're looking by eye, uh, what we need to do is pull that out and then put it in a position where we can see the sample comfortably by eye. And once we're done, we should push that back in. So again, it's this slider here to avoid bleaching our sample.